PAX A920. Introducing PAX. In this video, we will show you how to set up your PAX A920 terminal and go over some basic functions. Power and connection. First, we need to connect the terminal to power and a wireless network. Take the power cord and plug it into the power port on the left side of the terminal. If you choose to use cellular connection, you would need to insert the SIM card shipped to you along with your unit. Slide the tab underneath the terminal and remove the back panel. Insert the SIM card in the left slot under the battery. Wi-Fi. From the main screen, press Settings. Enter your admin password and press OK. Press Wi-Fi and select a network you would like to connect to. Enter the Wi-Fi password and press Connect. The Wi-Fi icon will light up in the top right corner of the screen to indicate the connection was successful. Paper Roll To install a paper roll, pull the lever at the top of the terminal. Place the paper roll over while facing the front of the terminal and close the lid. Transaction Sale Next, let's run a transaction. From the main screen, press Sale. Enter the amount and press the green OK button. Have your customer insert or tap the card. The approved message on a copy of the receipt will display on the screen. Tap Print and the terminal will offer to print a customer receipt. You can always reprint the receipt by tapping Reprint from the main screen. Transaction Void now, if you need to void a transaction that is sitting in the open batch, tap Void on the main screen. The terminal will prompt you to enter a transaction number. You can locate it on the receipt under Record Number. Enter the number in question and tap or press the green OK button. Tap Enter and the terminal will prompt for a signature. Sign the screen and tap Approve. Press Print to print the void receipt. Settlement To settle an open batch, tap FUNK for functions on the main screen. Tap Settlement and then tap Clear. The terminal will display a batch success message and the batch report will print automatically. Refund To refund a transaction from the settled batch, tap Refund from the main screen. Enter the amount and tap the green OK button. Have the customer insert or tap the card. The terminal will display approved and offer you to print the receipt. Moto transaction. To process a Moto transaction for the card not present orders, tap Moto on the main screen. Enter your admin password and tap enter. Enter the amount and press OK. The terminal will prompt you to enter a card number. Enter the card number and press OK. Report To print a report, tap FUNK for functions and then tap Reports. Tap on History to display an activity report for a specific date range. Tap the printer sign at the top right corner to have this report printed. Merchant Settings to access the Merchant Settings menu, tap Settings on the main screen. Enter your admin password and tap Enter. Here you can adjust multiple settings such as an Operator ID prompt, Cashback prompt, Order Number prompt, and others. Transaction Settings In the Transaction Settings menu, you can enable tips, enable or disable reference prompt for refunds, and more.